I think it makes a big difference symbolically, if not any other way, uh, here at the state level. Senator Whitney Westerfield welcomed the news. President Donald Trump endorsed the First Step Act Wednesday, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he'll call for a vote on the long-stalled bill. Westerfield says that could influence state lawmakers, too. Because it signals to other people who may have been reluctant otherwise to say, well, maybe this isn't the worst policy in the world. As long as we're doing it that, in a way that maintains safety, then it's worth looking at. After successful statewide reforms in Kentucky in 2017, a sweeping criminal justice bill died this year. I don't see an overarching big omnibus sort of effort coming forward in 2019, but I know conversations are being had about bail reform and elimination of money bail again. Louisville Senator Julie Rocky Adams' bill giving pregnant inmates more rights did pass this year. Senate Majority Leader Damon Thayer says the state is ahead of the curve. Kentucky under Senator Adams' leadership was the first ever state to pass the Dignity Bill. And I'm extremely proud that the elements of the Dignity Bill are included in the First Step Act that the president has now endorsed. Westerfield says he will introduce a bill to reduce the disproportional effects on minorities. He wouldn't offer details, but says he sought input from the courts, juvenile justice system, and social services. My bill includes just about everything they've asked for, making adjustments here and there to address where we see the, the problem seeping in. So we'll start with a, a big ask and get as much of that as we can to address that issue. Louisville Representative Jason Nemus plans on filing that bail reform bill. The idea would be to eliminate bail for many of the lowest level nonviolent offenders. Many of them can't afford bail and it would save money and relieve jail overcrowding. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.